Now we know that P is inversely proportional to the square root of R plus 2 and P equals to 6 when R equals to 2. So how we can go about doing this question, we can first find our K la, since we know that there are two variables here, our main players, and they are inversely proportional. We can form the equation that P multiplied by the square root of R plus 2 is equals to k right in this question is easy so there's no need for like two sets of values of p and k do you don't need p1 k1 or p not k not right that's for another type of question where they tell you that there's a percentage increase or the percentage decrease kind of question right so this question is easy right so remember don't overthink so from here we next can use the values here when p equals to 6 r equals to 2 so what we do is we substitute in p equals to 6 r equals to 2 this allows us to have uh, p sorry p to be 6 and r to be 2 we then obtain the value of 6 multiplied by square root of 2 plus 2 4 to be k and finally k is equals to 6 times 2 which is 12 so as of now once we have the equation we where well, what is k is right we have k then we, we know that the equation is now can be written as p square root r plus 2 equals to 12 okay now from here i want to find the value of r when p equals to 3 so i now sub in part 2 uh. substitute p equals to 3 okay uh, so dividing by 3 on both sides i have uh, square root r plus 2 is 4 Squaring both sides, r plus 2 is 16, and therefore, r is just 14. That's all.